Oh, did that just kill my teammate? I think it did. And his name is John C. <laughs> What's going on, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of E-Electric Productions. I'm Jay, and today I'm bringing you a new game that just came out on Steam called City of Brass. Roll intro. <laughs> Okay, so what is City of Brass? By my best approximation, I'd say if you've played a game by the name of Ziggurat, this game is pretty close to that. So the tutorial is not really much worth showing. It's pretty simplistic. I'm playing the early access build here. I've got everything turned up to ultra. There's some nice textures in it. I like the sense of scale. Nice artistic design. It's got a very uh, Aladdin, the Arabian Nights type look. So you can trigger different trap. Whoa! Hello there. Welcome to the party. Your sword doesn't have a ton of range on it. I mean, it's a sword, so... <laughs> I guess I shouldn't be expecting it to be a firearm. The whip is nice because you can use it to get in, stun enemies, and then get in close to finish them off with your sword. There's all kinds of different treasure and things that's hidden around the level. There we go. And what I like is you can use your whip to actually pick up said treasure, which is just kind of a nice feature. It saves you... Of course, I say that. Now I'm not going to be able... There it is. See, you can just reach out and you can grab it. These explode. So you can use that as an environmental weapon against the enemy, or against yourself if you decide to walk into the flames. Can I... can I open this? Oh, very nice. Now there's a door over here too. Hello there. So that little cage on their head eliminates the possibility of stunning them with your whip. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, there was a... Man, that's clever. Is it a spike or a spark trap? Doesn't matter. Yeah, there's, there's traps everywhere. So it's very much a game where you've got to be on your toes and paying attention at all times. Now, I haven't personally found anything inside of the breakable jars yet. It's a nice it's a nice touch and a nice feature that some of the environment is destructible. Your character can climb fairly well. <laughs> I say that as I... Uh-oh. Did I just knock the sword out of this guy's hand? I think I did. Oh, look at that. That is that is cool. The enemies take a few more hits than I personally care for. But again, that's just preferential. I am doing terrible here. Oh, you know what? I'm sorry. I forgot. You have to hold in the space bar to climb. I was thinking it was contextual, but it's, it's not. You, uh... You don't have to hold in the shift key to sprint. You do that automatically. In fact, if you hold the shift key, you'll actually go slower if you're trying to sneak around. All right, let's get up close and personal here with... Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, that was awesome. Tell you what, buddy. Come get me. There's a bit of a delay on the sword swing, so that makes it a little bit challenging. But this is the kind of game where I feel like they've tweaked it and tuned it to the point where it's supposed to be a challenge. 
Make sure I'm not getting snuck up on here. Whoa! Oh, hello there. Should we summon a companion, guys? Let's do it. Well, hello there, ghostly apparition. Why don't you follow me? Kind of freaky, actually. Oh, man. He got like a flying leap at me. You know, I'd almost like to see a game like this that's a pirate game. What is that? Can I throw this? Let's go over here. Oh, there's a big treasure chest up there. And another one here. Whoa! Thanks, teammate. You're the best. Where are you going? Do you, like, know where there's something? Oh, yeah, you do. This guy could pretty much just solo the game for me. Oh! I got got. Now I'm nervous. There you go, another trap. This game doesn't pull any punches. Okay. So you can walk right through the spikes once you've activated them. Hero. Oh, did that just kill my teammate? I think it did. Okay, so when you shoot those, they actually launch out those... See, I want to know what this is. I think it's just a, a throwing projectile. There it was, guys. So, guys, that's pretty much it. I just want to do a quick video and upload it, let you guys kind of see the game and what it has to offer. Uh, if you like FPWs, first-person whipper, then this is definitely going to be your cup of tea. It's a, it's a lot of fun to play. It's, it takes, oh, it takes some practice, and I could see you getting really, really good at the game. I'm kind of hoping that there's more weapons and things that you can unlock as you continue to play that will give you more and more of a benefit in playing the game. So maybe like longer reach or faster firing or... Whoa! But I have a feeling that that's the case and that there's a lot of unlocks available. Plus this is early access. No! And you've got to really, like, you've got to really watch the ground. You don't pay attention for two seconds. Okay, bye bye And you're, you're done for. Ooh. Something just killed that. Oh, there's one of those traps. I do like the fact that the enemies are as susceptible to the traps as you are. I, I... There we go. I would say that this game is a little bit slower paced and more trap heavy than the likes of Ziggurat, which was more of a fast paced, sort of almost a twitch shooter. And this one is... Where are you at, though? And oh, that worked. The dynamite. Okay. Um, this one's a little bit slower and more methodical. I really like, like, the Arabian Nights theme. I think it's just really, really cool. How far can we throw it? Not far, well, too far, actually. I think I saw some loot. Some glorious, glorious loot over here. There we go. 
yeah, you don't pay attention for two seconds and you're you're walking right on top of spikes. Let's take this guy out. Take him out of the knees. Got him. What do you have to offer? Yeah, the companions are really cool. They they do an awesome job. I feel like Indiana Jones here. The, uh, with the whip. That was pretty cool. <laughs> that felt like a scene out of like Pirates of the Caribbean or something. When you get the different uh, weapons and the mechanics in the game down, um, I can see how you could really improve. Uh, but yeah, I mean, the game is fairly simple. It's not an overly complex title. It's got kind of something that it's looking to do, and it, it does that. Nice. No, I didn't mean to. Oh, I grabbed it. I knew it. What so the fuck? Oh! That just glitched out pretty, pretty hardcore there. It's always a good sign when I'm playing a game and I'm trying to do some dialogue with the game and I can't do said dialogue because the game keeps grabbing my attention, either making me focus or challenging me in some way. Uh, that's, that's, that's not really a complaint that I have. I knocked his fez off his head. I don't, wow, man, that was a powerful hit. He just went, like, flying. Right in the eyes. I don't know. I must be, like, the most nitpicky gamer out there, because I feel like the uh, the skeleton guys with the big, the big swords, I would love it if they were just two hits to kill them. I think I want the armor instead of the shirt, but I don't really know what that signifies. Oh, there was... So there was something inside of... Some of the... No, 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 no. Yeah, we, we learned that trick. Needle of Tears, Flame of Sight, Blade of Cleaving. I don't know why it doesn't... Oh, that is cool! Slow, though. So what's Needle of Tears? Oh, do I not have enough... Don't have enough dosh. That's okay though. Blade of cleaving. The hefty blade increases your reach. You have been equipped with a blade of cleaving. I was hoping there was a map, maybe, but there's probably a map on the screen, and I'm just a dork and don't see it. No, I don't. I don't. I don't see one. If there's one here. Hello. Goodbye. Hello. Goodbye. Oh, I love. I love the reach on this one. Whoa, 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 whoa. I don't know what that is. Okay. Help. Okay, guys, so I actually just paused and went online to take a look to find out about what those creatures were. And they are like the spinning dervish is what it's called. If you take too long, there's actually a timer in the upper right-hand corner. If you take too long, they will spawn in and they will chase you down and kill you. So you need to get through the level as quickly as possible. And it's supposed to keep people from just sitting there and grinding loot and things like that. And I guess powering up, leveling up too much. So if you like that feature, it puts an element of pressure and tension on each level. If you don't like the timer feature, it does seem to be a bit of a bone of contention right now with some of the Steam community with this game. But I'll leave that to you guys to decide. Um, but that's going to pretty much do it for this video. I just wanted to introduce you guys to this game and what it has to offer. And I personally really like what they've done here. I love the foundation they have in place. I keep saying this my last few videos, having a solid foundation going into early access makes all the difference. I can I could totally handle a game that is lacking polish and maybe a lot of variety and things like that as long as there is a really solid foundation that they can build on. If they come to me and say, hey, here's our game, play it, and it feels this solid, and then they say, these are the things we're going to add, I feel fairly confident that they are going to add those things in because 
they've put the time in and the energy in already to make a good game foundation. And it just makes sense that they're going to want to bring that to fruition. And they clearly are dedicated enough and detail-oriented enough to make sure it feels good in this current state. That's a really good thing, and that's what I look for in early access. There are daily challenges as well, and uh, I think that's pretty neat that if they keep adding those in, it adds some longevity to the game. So all in all, I'm very impressed. I'm really happy with what I'm seeing here, and I would encourage you guys to check it out. That's going to do it for me today, guys. Thank you so much. I'm working on another video that's going to be a little bit bigger. I've been kind of trying to alternate because I was burning myself out already within the first month of content creation where I was doing big videos every single video and so I'm alternating between sort of a quick video like this one and then I'm working on a larger production for a game where they, there might be more comedic content in there uh, there might be some other additional content that I have built into the video that's just helping to show off the game or make fun of the game or, or whatever the case may be so this is the quick one guys and I'm gonna try and have a more fleshed out video up in the next 24 to 36 hours guys thank you again I really appreciate it and as always you guys have a great day